So the media is desperate to write a story that Joe Biden is in trouble in his re-election campaign. But is there any basis for it? Let's talk about it in today's video. Hi, I'm Mike Greiner. I'm a lifelong Democratic activist who's concerned about the direction our country is taking. I'm also a lawyer and an academic, and I'm going to help you stand up to the BS of the MAGA crowd. So just check out this headline here. Oh my gosh, is Biden in trouble? He's being beaten by Trump in the polls. What is going on here? Democrats don't want him to run. It's all craziness. Is it time for Joe Biden to step down? Well, I have two responses to this article. The first one is that there's other polling data that shows that the Republicans aren't doing so well either, including one poll by Fox News that shows just how much trouble they're in. But let's dig a little bit deeper here. A thought I had reading it immediately is the fact that, well, all presidents when they run for your election start out with pretty poor favorability ratings. So let's actually look at the history here. This is from Fox 538, they have their approval rating tracker, and it's probably worth doing some historical comparisons here. Now, Donald Trump, for one, had an approval rating at this point in his presidency exactly the same as Joe Biden, and yet he was perceived as a strong candidate for re-election. Let's look at some other ones here. You look at Barack Obama, and granted, he was re-elected, and at this point in his presidency, he was a good eight points or so above where Joe Biden is right now, but you go back just a little bit, and you can see where there was a point in his presidency, oh, probably about uh, a month before we are now, where Biden and Barack Obama were pretty close in terms of their favorability rating. And just as a reminder here, Barack Obama was reelected. Let's look also at Bill Clinton. And again, at this point, yes, granted he had a good 15 points up compared to Joe Biden, but we go back just a little bit here and oh, 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 oh my goodness, he is less than two points better than Joe Biden at this point. And of course, he was reelected. But let's go to an even more interesting case here. And this would be Ronald Reagan, the lion of the Republican Party, who everybody looks back on as being a great president who's to be emulated. Well, at this point in his presidency, he had literally the exact same favorability rating as Joe Biden. And what's more is you go back a little bit further and he actually had a significantly worse favorability rating than Joe Biden. Just as a reminder, by the way, not only was Ronald Reagan reelected, he was reelected in a landslide by a historic margin. So let's calm down a little bit on the, oh, Joe Biden is doomed story, because it just doesn't hold up when you look at comparisons from the past. Now, why is this the case? It's the case because Joe Biden, in some respects right now, is the devil you know. I'll be the first to admit that Joe Biden is not perfect. In fact, he would be the first to admit that Joe Biden's not perfect. He himself will say, don't compare me against the almighty, compare me against the other guy. And he's got a point there. Presidents do not run in a vacuum. He's running against somebody else. And I think most people, when they compare Joe Biden versus Donald Trump, they're going to think pretty strongly that they should reelect Joe Biden. Because one thing that is clear from the polling is despite his recent legal troubles, Donald Trump is doing pretty darn well among Republicans in the campaign to win the nomination for president. What's more is there's a history of people kind of oh, feeling tired, kind of bored with the current president. But then eventually as the campaign heats up, they start to come home. And this is something you see in every campaign. I'm sure you're going to start to see this with Joe Biden as he's out campaigning more, that Democrats are going to come home and realize, you know, oh, he's a good guy. He's somebody worth supporting. But I do have one minor complaint to raise here with the revelations that have been brought up by some of these polls. And it is the fact that he does have a relatively low favorability rating. People, when they ask, say that he has not been a good steward of the economy. And in fact, some polls have shown that people think Donald Trump was a better steward of the economy. But yet, just a reminder here, our unemployment is actually lower under Joe Biden than it was under Donald Trump. And inflation, although it's been a little bit of a problem, it's slowing. And the cause of the inflation was, of course, the fiasco that started under the Trump administration. And when it comes to foreign policy, there's really no comparison. Joe Biden has been actually quite an excellent foreign policy president for the most part. His handling of the crisis in Ukraine and his work with our NATO allies has been commendable, winning praise even from Republicans. So just what are people so upset with Joe Biden about? Willing to hazard a guess that if you ask most people why they're mad at don't Joe Biden or don't like him, 
They couldn't give you a reason, at least not a good one. Oh, they might say, there's that problem son of his, so we're going to elect Donald Trump? Point being that a lot of these arguments just don't stand up at face value. So next time you see one of these polls talking about how in trouble the Democrats are in the next election, remember a couple things. Number one, that's not everything the polls are showing. Number two, the media has an interest in creating the sense that there's going to be this exciting campaign, because guess what? That generates eyeballs. Number three, presidents at this stage in their term tend to have pretty low favorability ratings, and including many presidents who've won by large margins. And number four, ask yourself, really, is there any basis for these negative feelings that people have about Joe Biden? And maybe, just maybe, we should confront people a little bit more when they start spewing the BS that they see on Fox News. Well, if you want to see just how out to lunch some of the economic analysis is that's being spewed on Fox News and some of the other conservative outlets, check out this video over here. I'll see you then. In the meantime, let's hope for continued progress. Thank you.